Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making my secret recipe for acai bowls. Be sure to stay tuned and let's get started. So to start off, my recipe isn't really so secret, it's just a combination of different fruits that I've chosen to put into a smoothie bowl. Um, my brother is a huge fan of acai bowls and ever since quarantine he hasn't been really going out and getting any and so with buying all the ingredients, whether it be at Trader Joe's or your local grocery store, I've been able to make them at home. So here are all of my ingredients. I am going to mix and match them depending on each person's taste. I'm gonna be making one bowl for my brother and one bowl for my mother and I to share. So like I stated before, these different ingredients can be bought in either Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or any one of your grocery stores. I'll tell you where I got these, um, each of these ingredients. So we have some frozen peaches. These are from Trader Joe's. Also from Trader Joe's are these frozen organic mangoes. And then we also have these Trader Joe's dark sweet pitted cherries. Now these I would say are the secret ingredient because not many acai bowls have these in inside. And then Trader Joe's also has these organic acai puree packets. They come in a pack of four and they are uh, unsweetened. So it's great for those that are trying to avoid any artificial sweeteners. Um, at the other grocery stores, you can also buy this acai pack from Samba Zone. That's a really popular brand that is known for their acai. They also have it unsweetened or sweetened depending on what you want. And then these two frozen fruits, I purchased one of these from Whole Foods and one of them from Air One. So it is uh, the Pattaya Power brand. So one of them is dragon fruit. So that is gonna make a really, really beautiful pink color if you wanted to do a Pattaya bowl base instead of an acai bowl base. And then this, I thought it was just super fun. This is passion fruit. You normally don't see that um, as a frozen fruit. So I decided to get some of these. Warning, it is a bit sour, but it is a really nice refreshing taste to add in. Here I have chopped up some bananas and froze them. So anytime that you have a bunch of bananas and you see them going a little bit too brown, a great way is to chop them up and put them in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer. That way it does create that great consistency for your smoothies or your smoothie bowls. Um, and that way you don't have to worry about them going brown. For our toppings, I normally will use fresh bananas and blueberries and strawberries. However, unfortunately, um, we don't have any at home right now, so I'm just using what we have in the fridge. So today I'm going to be using a golden kiwi, some blueberries, and a yellow dragon fruit. Which, yes I know not everyone has yellow dragon fruit in their fridge, I'm just very fortunate that my family loves fruit and usually has a huge variety of fruit in the fridge. Um, but right now they are in season, so they're a bit on the pricey side, but if you do like dragon fruit, I'd advise going to the grocery store and getting them. Finally, to mix up our drink, uh, or our smoothie bowl, sorry, is unsweetened coconut milk from Trader Joe's. Um, most of us Asians are lactose intolerant, so we do use this coconut beverage unsweetened from Trader Joe's. Um, I have tried uh, Silk's coconut milk, and that one, it is, while it's unsweetened, it is very artificially coconut flavored. From now on, we only use the coconut beverage that's unsweetened from Trader Joe's. Now when it comes to topping your acai or smoothie bowl in general, um, a big thing is to have granola, which isn't 100% necessary. What you choose to put on your bowl is totally up to you. I personally really like the almond butter granola from Trader Joe's. And then you can choose to add a little bit of cacao nibs if you like. Personally, I do find them a little bit too bitter. And then to add a gorgeous little white color, I like to use some unsweetened unsweetened shredded coconut. This one I bought from, I believe, Whole Foods. And then finally, if you want some extra um, super snacks, this is uh, dried goji berries. So these are actually really, really good for your health and they are a great source of fiber. One thing I do want to preface when it comes to making smoothie bowls is I do highly recommend using frozen fruits. While you can use fresh fruits, at least have some 
item of the items be frozen because when it comes to blending it up if you use fresh fruits they are a little too juicy and it will make your bowl very very liquidy a big thing about acai bowls that my brother loves is their frozen solid kind of feeling and a lot of stores on the outside that make acai bowls will put sodium in it not salt but sodium and that helps it to keep its um kind of thick consistency however at home when you're making it fresh it'll just melt so by making it colder to begin with and using frozen fruits you'll have it in a harder consistency to begin with and it won't be too liquidy so right now i'm going to get started on my brother's acai bowl and we're going to use one pack of acai Add a little banana. A little bit of mango. I only add about a little bit. Frozen peaches. And last but not least, some dark cherries. All of the measurements are really eyeballing it. It's up to you what proportions you want of what fruit. And that, but definitely when it comes to adding your liquid, whether it be juice or water or milk, just use a little bit at a time because you don't want to over liquefy it. And like I said before, you wanna keep it as thick as possible. So just use a little bit of liquid and let the blender do its work. Today I'm using a Vitamix. It's a very high power blender. You don't have to use a Vitamix. Normally I actually will use um, my bullet blender. It's a small individual portion size blender. It is not as powerful so I do have to put less fruit in it and then blend it up in, in different segments. But with a Vitamix, if you have a powerful blender, it's easier to make it all at once. Speed through this part because you don't need to hear the blender going but as you can see a baton does help to help mix the fruit around so that you don't have to shake the blender. One thing I would say about using a high powered blender like the Vitamix, you do have to be careful how long you are blending for, regardless if you're using frozen ingredients, because since it is high powered, it does produce a lot of heat. At Sam's Club, when we saw it being sold, it does generate a lot of heat so much that they even made soup with the blender. So make sure that you use frozen ingredients and don't blend for too long, otherwise your smoothie may turn into soup. Just to give you an idea how thick your smoothie bowl should be, see how it doesn't move or barely moves. That's how thick of a consistency we're looking for. Now a huge part of acai bowls or any smoothie bowls to make them look presentable is plating. So today we're going to be using this large ramekin style bowl. It's super handy, super cute, and we're just going to use the spatula and scoop out the acai. When you're pouring your smoothie into your bowl, make sure to use a spatula or a spoon to create a flat surface for your toppings. Now, like I said, this is where I would normally chop up some bananas, chop up some strawberries, and it looks really, really gorgeous to put on top, but today I don't have those, so we're going to use some alternatives. To start off for our toppings, we're going to use some yellow dragon fruit. We're going to cut it in half and then into quarters and segment it into pieces and layer it vertically. Then we do have some blueberries. You're going to wash them and place them the same way as you would the dragon fruit. Following the blueberries, we have some golden kiwi. You're going to slice those into some pieces. Make sure to take the peel off. And then you're going to cut that piece into half and layer it vertically as well. Then comes the granola. You can choose to use whatever size you would like. I chose to mix it up between small and big. Moving on, we have those coconut shreds. So we're just using a spoon to layer it nicely in the little corners and the last lines left. This is completely optional, but you can choose to do a drizzle of honey. And there you have it. Here's your acai bowl. Thanks. You're welcome. As you can see, acai bowl number one was a success. We're now gonna make one more, or 
two more, but me and my mom are gonna split it. And we're going to do a pitaya base bowl instead of acai. So the base of the smoothie bowl for this one is going to be pitaya, or also known as dragon fruit. And we're gonna be using this bag. Just letting you know, this is a little bit pricier than acai and you'll find it at more like Whole Foods type stores rather than Trader Joe's. But the color is really just so gorgeous. And for me, I like the taste better than acai. Acai is a little bit more on the sour side and then the Thai is a little more on the light refreshing side. So we're gonna start. You'll immediately see a color difference the moment we pour it into the bowl. the rest of my frozen banana. We're gonna finish off those cherries. Not too many though, because we don't want it to darken up that beautiful pink color. To add a little bit of tartness, we're going to add in a little bit of passion fruit. It's like, it looks like mango, but a little bit darker. Some of those peach slices from before. And last but not least, some mango. Once again, we're gonna use that coconut beverage. Don't forget to not use too much. I forgot one more secret ingredient. Our secret ingredient today for our pitaya bowl is going to be some collagen peptides. So my mom, she likes to sneak this into her iced coffees or any of her cold drinks. Um, it does help with bone density and healthy joints. And so she's been using this. I'm fortunate enough to be a part of Vital Protein's um, Vital Influencers program. So by posting on social media about the product, I do receive this product for free. So this video is not sponsored by any means. This is just something that I like to sneak in there to help my mom with her healthy uh, joints and bones. This one is tasteless while they do have other flavors, but this one shouldn't add anything or any flavor, unflavored, to our smoothie bowl. And... Now the pitaya is a little bit softer than the acai, so it's going to blend a little quicker. I'm just showing you how thick it is, how it doesn't really budge. We're going to transfer it into our two bowls. Now you can see the absolutely stunning pink color that comes out from the pitaya. Now here's the part where I apologize that the clip where I put the toppings on did disappear, but it was the same as the one I did on my brother's. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Cooking with Tarina and hope you enjoy it. If you make it, let me know. Definitely tag me in your pictures and your videos so I can see what you made and comment down below and let me know what else you want to see me make.